Hello and welcome to Sunday Evening Prayer here at Parkstone Baptist Church this Sunday the 27th of September. This is Church Despite COVID-19. Sunday evenings we've been working our way through the later great chapters of the book of the prophet Isaiah and we continue this evening with Isaiah 46. So welcome to, it's good to have you with me as we spend these moments in prayer and thought in the company of our Lord and God who says in one of the Psalms, Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. And words of our Lord Jesus Christ, who says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is kind, and my burden is light. And words of the Apostle Peter, who followed Jesus and put his trust in him, cast all your anxiety on God because he cares for you. In the coming, Lord, your presence. In the confessing, Lord, your pardon. In the casting, Lord, your peace. that you are always with us, that you graciously forgive us, that you daily sustain us. We bless your name, O Lord. Because you care, because you commit, because you are God and there is no other, gladly we take this time and ask that you make it yours, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our reading this evening is the 46th chapter of Isaiah. Um, I would encourage you to read the whole chapter. I'm just going to read the first four verses as Isaiah characterises caricatures even the gods of Babylonia, the country uh, to which the people of Jerusalem and Judea in so many numbers would be taken into exile and captivity. Baal bows down, Nebo stoops, their idols are on beasts and livestock. These things you carry are born as burdens on weary beasts. They stoop, they bow down together. They cannot save the burden, but themselves go into captivity. Listen to me, O house of Jacob, all the remnant of the house of Israel, who have been born by me from before your birth, carried from the womb, even to your old age I am he, and to grey hairs I will carry you. I have made, and I will bear, I will carry, and I will save. The prophet continues exposing the futility of his people's misplaced trust in manufactured gods. They may have left Baal and Canaan's gods behind when the Babylonians erased Jerusalem from the map and carted them into captivity. But there on Babylon's massive walls and gates, in and out of temples, lining streets, gods of every shape and size, Bel, Nebo, Ishtar, gods for this and gods for that, gods in royal names too, Nebo in Nebuchadnezzar, Bel in Belshazzar, even so, idols, for all their impressiveness, are not our our idol. They are not alive. Their worshippers have to cart them about on their shoulders or put them on carts or put shelves under them. Hardly Hardly surprising since they had to make them in the first place. Baal's worshippers fall down before him. You wonder that with the weight of him, all that gold and all the rest, that they don't fall down under him. 
The critique stings, but sometimes only a sharp reminder pierces thick hides. Our idols today may perhaps be less obvious. Uh, I won't say subtle, just less obvious. Not, not statues of, of things, but things nonetheless that people serve, depend on, commit themselves to, base their lives, their hopes, their futures, their anxieties and their fears upon. Um, whether that's ideas, whether that's systems, whether it's people, whether it's material things of some kind or the other, whether it's money, whatever it happens to be, idols are still around and ultimately they're all useless to save and they certainly don't care about us. How different it was with the Lord. I've borne you before your, from before your birth. I carried you from the womb. Even to your old age, I am he. And to grey hairs, love that, I will carry you. I've made, and therefore I will bear. You know, I, you know, I bore you, as it were, and I bore you into the world, and I'll continue to bear you. I will carry, and I will save to the end. Only our creator, only the one who is the creator, uh, can be and cares to be our saviour. Even as Isaiah's words called to his people's hearts, God was calling the man, Cyrus the Persian, to set his people free. And as God had once borne his people out of Egypt on eagles' wings, Exodus 19.4, was that the pigeon right on cue? Oh dear. He would do the same as he brought them home from Babylon. Remember this and stand firm, says the Lord. And let's ponder and, and pray. I am he who will sustain you. I have made you and I will carry you. I will sustain you and I will rescue you. O oh God, let the light of your salvation rise up upon us in the knowledge of Christ the Son and Saviour you raised up for us all. This night, Lord, peace where there is war we pray. This night, Lord, safety where there is danger. This night, Lord, hope where there is despair. This night, Lord, joy where there is sorrow. This night, Lord, right where there is wrong. This night, Lord, love where there is hate. And all for your name's sake. Amen. This night, Father, I pray. Relief for my weary eyes. Respite for my troubled mind. Recovery for my aching body, restoration for my whole soul, and all through Jesus Christ my Lord. Amen. Even to your old age and grey hairs, I am he who will sustain you. O oh, my soul, bless the Lord. And may the peace of Christ Keep us in peace. Amen. Well, the Lord be with you and bless you. Thank you for joining me in this short time. Uh, and may you know the, the life and the love of the one who bears us, not just, as it were, on eagle's wings, but upon his heart at all times and in every way. So until we meet again in this way or some other way, God be with you, God bless you, and goodbye.